we need to write the numbers below in words. So we can see that all of the numbers that we have here have four digits. And the first digit in a four digit number tells us how many thousands we have. So here we can see that for this first number, we have one as our thousands digit, so we can write 1000. Then we can look at the last three digits of our number, and we already know how to write three digit numbers in words. So we can see that here, because we have 483, we can write 483. Now for this number here, we have three as our thousands digit, so we can write 3000. Then we look at the last three digits of our number. This time we have 072. So this zero tells us that we don't have any hundreds in our number. So we can just write and 72. Now notice for this first number, we wrote a comma after the word thousand. But for this question that we've just done, we didn't write a comma. Instead, we wrote the word and. Now that's because when we write a number in words, the comma separates the thousands and the hundreds. But for this number here, we didn't have any hundreds. We had a zero as our hundreds digit. So rather than a comma after the word thousand, we just wrote and and then the rest of our number. But when numbers are written in digits, even if the hundreds digit is a zero, we still usually have a comma to separate the thousands and the hundreds. But not always. Sometimes you might see a four digit number which doesn't have a comma or space to separate the thousands and the hundreds. But because you know that we can count ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands, you know how to find the thousands digit of a number. If it's a four digit number, the thousands digit will be the first digit. Now let's look at this number here. We have three as our thousands digit, so that's 3000. Then looking at the last three digits, we have 300, zero, zero, so that's 300. Our number is 3300. And for this last number, we have four and then a comma, so that's 4000. But then looking at the last three digits, we have 002. Zero, zero, so we have zeros in our hundreds and in our tens. So we can just write and two to give us the number 4002. Again, remember, if we have zero in our hundreds, then rather than writing a comma after the word thousand, we need to write and and then the rest of our number.